Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of a Crazy Town a Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, I'm the man on the you sticks. You have the sticks. We're playing Madden 20, the San Francisco 49er Nights. 49er Nights. <laughs> you in that hard ER. <laughs> uh, what was it, 49 a night? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, they are the 49ers. They're the 49ers. No, yeah. you oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. And we're playing the Super Bowl. We're going to win the big one. Yeah, I hope so, man. As always, playing offense only. We're simming the D. We're using that balance. Not We're not. We're using some other playbook, and he's playing on pro folks. I'm kind of concerned, honestly. You know, that you might lose? Yeah. Well, I hope you do. Well, Let that, everybody yeah, down. Well, well okay. <laughs> Glad so... I had to see where your friends are. At, yeah, right? At the end of last episode, you asked me a question that I, I said we talk no about type. this episode. Yeah. You said, Bad Jonas. is the only thing that I like. Right, exactly. Uh, you said, hey, ooh. said, hey, Jonas, do you prefer blondes or brunettes? Yeah. And I said, I don't have a type. And you're like, that's not possible. That's not possible. I do not have a type. I have a, I do not have a physical type wait if you get into some spiritual chakras and like <laughs> our energies have to meet on a certain level <laughs> nah, dude i'm not like that I'm, I feel no dude energy. i have i have like of course someone has to be physically attractive to me but it's not like every time of course not jonas oh, yeah. but my type is it's all it's like like mental type i have a mental type no oh, jesus <laughs> <laughs> no, oh Jesus, man! No, here we go. Let, let's hear it, Joe. No, dude, I need someone that has like a good sense of humor and a good personality, and like they have to be a decent person. And every, but that's not necessarily true. Well, I'm not trying to say is that you have a type, but what are a few colors, skin color, hair type, um, height? What are the little cut? Of All right, um, ideal. I like uh, the ideal woman must have the. <laughs> must have. Okay, I like, I like, uh, I like long hair. Facts. Like I don't really like short hair. Like shoulder length is fine, or like those cute bob haircuts that girls have and stuff. Those are cute. I thought but you much didn't shorter, like those. Much short. No, like still close to shoulder. Though. Oh. Like, like okay. it has to have length on it. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't really like short haircuts, like where, where it's shaved up and just kind of has a top style. I don't. I'm not into that. Not no. saying that it can't be cute. That's just yeah, not yeah. my thing. Okay, that's fine. That's um, all we're discussing. I like here. shorter girls. Short I like girls. Sm I like a girl that I could pick up and carry around. Like, like that's, <laughs> like that kind Jonas. of size. That's preferable. Keep Jonas away from the middle school. Oh shut! <laughs> <up>. <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, smaller, more petite is like my preference. But not not saying that I haven't dated women that weren't small and petite. It's not an absolute. I just you know ideally like if you have like if I could like throw you over my shoulder and carry you around. For Jesus. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is what you is this what you want to teach the next generation right here, John? Why are you asking me questions you don't want the answers? All our to? Zoomer friends. No, dude. No. All right, fine. Not my turn, Jones. Thank you for that lovely that lovely uh, look into your deep perversions. All right, so me, I didn't even get to hair colors or anything like that. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna go over my my set of three then. What'd you discuss? I just uh, hair hair length, hair and length, body type, All and right. height. Jonas, like long haired girls, definitely gotta be black hair though. Only like it if it's dark. Uh, but I also like short haired girls. But I've only dated like maybe one or two short haired girls in my day. Ooh, my brown eyed girl. Um, what else did you what else did you go height, over? Body type. Uh, I like them with a little meat on their bones. Not gonna lie, like them skinny too, Jonas. Not gonna lie, D not a, a big fan of anything past that. But you know, you got to do what you got to do well, sometimes. Well, meat up by me on your bones. Are you talking like BB Dubs? Or are you talking like just thicker girls? I just like them a little thicker. I like thick. I like yeah, man. I like a little body on them. Yeah, like something you can grab and smack around. I mean, not in a violent way, like in a. <laughs> I got you. What are you trying to teach these kids out here? <laughs> We're trying to teach them. I don't like, I don't want to F a, never mind. You know, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to shame any girl who is skinny or who is large. What about height? Height? Yeah, height. Um, 
I, yeah, I guess if a girl's smaller than me, but I'm like six foot three, so that's not too hard to find. Yeah, right. I've also I've also dated girls who were uh, close or similar to my height, and that was fine too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All yeah. right, give me mere hair colors then. Uh, I mean, like, I really like red hair. I really like blonde hair. And I really like brown hair. I like. Is dude. there one that like is like would t- take a girl's chances over the top? Like, let's say we're talking about a super intelligent girl and she's There's three of the same girl and they have three different hair colors. Which one would that? Exactly the same. There's twins. Yeah. Same person. Twi- triplets. Fine. Same personalities. Yeah. Or however many. Sex tuplet. There's a black hair, a red hair, a brown hair, and a blonde hair. Fine. Yeah, let's do it. <gasps> I don't you know. You fumbled the freaking ball! Ooh. In the Super Bowl, I guess it depends. Yeah. What's what's their what's their skin color and skin tone? What's their eye yeah, color? Yeah, see, their, I was gonna get. That's what I was kind of yeah, getting into, like, Jonas. Sometimes it's like like sometimes like a pale girl with red hair and green eyes. That's really hot. But yeah. uh, but like a but also like a pale girl with like blonde hair and blue eyes. That's hot uh, too. I mean, a, a girl with like a t- like tan skin and dark hair and like brown eyes, like that's hot too. I like them, Jonas. I'm not gonna lie. I like them if well if. We're talking about Caucasian women. I like them pale and dark hair. Okay. If we're talking about any other type of woman, I don't know. Uh, basically, you know, take them as they come. Okay. okay. Yeah, I like yeah, uh, I yeah. like fairer skinned Caucasian women as well. Eye color, is pr- I'm pretty indifferent too. Yeah, dude, I'm not big on eye color, and I don't know. Um. I, I kind of feel like it, it may be a cultural thing, but blonde haired girls just really don't do it for me. At all. Really? <laughs> they really don't, man. Why do you think? Uh, I don't know. Um, is it bad if I say I associate them with Arianness? Oh wow! <laughs> Holy Jesus! Uh, no, because that's fact. But oh, it's the truth. Well, I mean, if it's the truth, then I mean, I, I mean, I thought you were telling me from a cultural like. No, uh, you I knew something that. I didn't know. No, like her all blunts. No, that's, that's, your, that's your truth. <laughs> um, I, when I was a child, I was like, I loved blonde. Blonde was like my. I always thought. I always. I remember talking about how I thought like blonde girls were pretty. Like, but as I've gotten older, I'm not a big like. Here's the thing for me though. Like, since I'm so more of like, like a sapio type person, where like intelligence is like a big thing for me in personality and all that stuff, I've become less and less like physical. Physical beauty isn't exactly what. Like, I can see someone like, oh man, they're 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 hot. I think they're attractive. But then like it's like, but once I start talking to you, I c- it can easily sway. Okay, Fast. so have you ever let a girl's a level of intelligent a level of intelligence outswayed by looks? Absolutely. No, okay. not it's not just purely intelligent. It could be personality too. I mean, well, yeah, if they're lacking. Yeah. That, like so. if I, I've always said, well, not always, but in the last like probably last god probably like decade or more, I would much rather have a girl that like by social standards is like a six or seven, but has like a ten personality. Than a girl who's a ten with like a six or six personality. Oh, I Jonas. would much rather. But you can't take her through the mall, Jonas. You, can't. <laughs> you can absolutely. I because and here's I know, my right? and here's my reasoning on this, and it depends where my mindset is. I think that's more of like a girlfriend sort of mentality. Because like if I'm gonna be with someone, you're you're like your mental state is pretty well lasting. Beauty mm-hmm. fades. It always does. Eventually. Mm-hmm. Whether you're with, you know, obviously if you're 20, in four years, she's going to be 24. It's going to be, but if you're like, if you're talking like a long-term thing and you're going to grow old, their personality is going to be the same, but they're eventually, their body won't be attractive. They're, you know, it's not as attractive, you know, as it once was. Amen, brother. Right. I saw a, it was an advertisement in a, uh, yeah, I said advertisement in a magazine. Yeah. And it said to find yourself one with a personality and a brain because they all have vaginas <laughs> and that is not a slight on women and trying to say that it's just in fact it's saying the exact opposite it's saying is that a woman has to have a lot more going for her than, than a, just than a vagina. yes and being hot oh absolutely and I, guys that means you gotta have more go get a, a job and more than a d yeah. all guys have a d yeah you know what i mean now some d's exactly. are better than other d's for different Dang, reasons. Jonas, that's effed up because it's true. It is, right. 
But all like my D's D is can way better thing. than your D. No, no. <laughs> facts. I don't know. Kidding. All I'm D's kidding. can do the same thing. It's just how effective some D's are at doing it than the others. Oh my God! All D's are not but created that's, equal. But that also goes with vaginas too, because like eh. sometimes like placement and like depth and like all, there's all sorts of things about it. <laughs> Girl, why is your vagina by your belly button? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, where they do that at, dude? And I'm sure you've experienced this. Sometimes you just don't fit together well with another person. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, we're all anatomical. Take take that as it is. If, but I, if I got to, like, put an extra throw pillow underneath their back just to, get, to hit it right, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, right. But sometimes it's, you know, we're like, some. Pe- it's just there's a lot of different body types. And, like, sometimes people aren't as flexible. Some people aren't as, like, you know, it's just there's different things. But, yes, essentially... <laughs> We all have the parts that we need for the pleasure. It's so you might as well have like the other parts that are great too. Hey because man. if I find like, because and, and this is why I think it's so funny about society is like, you see people like thirsting on these like on these social media thoughts. You know what I mean? No, and, like, not it, me. It's like, and they're just you, you just see these people drooling like, oh, I want, oh, you're so blah 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 blah. blah. But like, dude, if you sat down and talked to that girl for ten minutes, yeah, you, might you may not be think like, that. oh my god. Like, it's pure lust. You know what I mean? <laughs> Are you trying to say that she's dumb or something? No, but, like, um, it's just you don't know that. They may be an amazing person, but you don't know that till you talk to them. Like, it's Facts. just a pure lust thing because you're like, oh, I think they're hot or they're showing off their body. It's like people, some guys can't control themselves. Facts. Yeah, dude. And it's like they'll do anything for a hot girl, and they could be a trash person. <laughs> or, you know, it goes for dudes, too, oh, Jonas. Cause, you I'm know. speaking from my perspective because I'm a guy. Okay, fair enough. You know, if I was a woman, I'd be the same thing. Yeah. Like, they could pine over, like, hot dudes, and hot dudes are trash most of the time. <laughs> I'm just being, I'm just being oh my god, man! I'm being stupid. Right? No, dude. But you, um, you can be, you can be a good guy. No, you can be but hot. it's just we talked about it having like big girl or big guy mentality. No, yeah, yeah. And compared to like hot, hot guy or hot girl mentality, we, I feel like we talk about this subject a lot. I mean, but it's it's something that like a lot of people don't recognize. Do it's they like, not? Like the world, like it's there's more to people than they are hot. And you need to recognize that. You shouldn't pine over someone because they're beautiful. You should pine over them because they're like, they, they're a good person and you like them like that. You see, like, I, I can't, I can't, sub, I can't subscribe to that that tone, that tone of thinking yeah. only because I feel like you have to immerse yourself in that culture before you can truly. What do you mean by that? I mean, uh, have you ever been in like hot guy, hot girl culture? No, oh, absolutely not. I don't fall in that. So how can you say is, you know, the uh, the inner machinations of their mind and what drives them, their modus operandi? Yeah, no, I'm not, spo- I'm not speaking on that. I'm just saying I mean, you, you did, don't though. know. As a person who's on the outside looking at it, someone who's like a social media thought. Oh, wait. T- it's time out. You have no idea what that person is. So you're pining over this person. You have no idea. It's like pining over celebrities. You're like, oh, my God, I wish I could be with Beyonce. Beyonce may be a terrible person. Why, you but you don't you ever <laughs> in your freaking life say something like that about Beyonce, you <laughs> oh son God. of a bitch. As, as, I, as I speak. Don't you dare. You this is my you. point. We cannot just I said say... she might be. Yeah, but we can't just say she might be a bad person. She could be. I but could be we, a bad she, person. She's a wonderful person until proven guilty. But you don't know that. Yes, I do know that. How? Because I give her the benefit, the same benefit of the doubt I would give anybody. I don't necessarily... I'm the most, guess, anti, okay. I'm the most anti-social person person in the room Jonas and I don't uh-huh. approach everybody with the intent okay. of they're a let jerk me, let me, let me until rephrase. they prove I'm themselves I'm not going to crush and obsess over someone that I have no idea what their personality is. I agree with that's that. That's what I mean. But you're saying it bad. <laughs> I'm saying it like they could be an awful person. If you start talking about Beyonce being a bad person again Jonas. <laughs> I knew that Get was off good. of me. I could have talked about Oprah. Oh yeah that would have got a fight out of me too. <laughs> you would have stood up and just punched me in the face. <laughs> How dare you speak about yeah, like that? This game will go off real quick. You talk about Oprah in this <laughs> no, but household. No, it's just, it's just you, you have to look out. There's more to people than, than there That is. I give you, but I'm not going to say that anybody hot, Could be a but- hot, rich, none of them, Jonas, fresh and ready, none of them you are. You acknowledge that no one could be a bad person? 
I am I acknowledge that they could be a good person too. And right. that's the same exact way of saying what you're oh, saying. Oh, it's glass half empty, glass half exactly. full. It's not even about it's about just giving somebody the benefit of the doubt. I'm well, not if you saying, walk around saying that everybody is a bad guess, person. And go ahead. If you walk around saying that everybody could be a bad person, that is going to just breed anxiety in your in yourself. But it doesn't breed anxiety in me because my, my I guess the way I'm I guess okay I guess I see how it comes across negatively. Okay. But I, but I guess by what I mean by that is by me saying that they could be a bad person is coming from the uh, assumption that I think they're a good person until they could be bad. Well, no, it does not sound. And like if that. I say it they sound- could be a ba- a good person, it makes me assu- sound like I assume they're bad and they might be good. It sounds like. Like some sour grapes, like, well, you know, she's hot, but she could be a really, she could be a real B word. And so, oh, yeah, you know, okay, I'm I... doing okay. No, she's probably a good person. You just need to step your hygiene game. I up. gotcha. Okay. And, and, it, and it's, it's all about perspective. Like, like, what I meant by that, yeah, I don't mean that, like, I have the mindset they're going to be a bad person. It's just I have the realist thought that. They may not be what I think they are or, or what they come across as being until I give them a chance to meet them in the real life. Okay. I'll, it, I'll give you that. Yeah, but it doesn't sound – it does. It, but if you say it and they could be a good person, then it doesn't get the same uh, punch and effect. To me, it sounds worse. They could be a good person. Yeah, that means me. That means that to me, that means that you think they aren't, and they might be. Uh, to me, it's like I'm assuming they're a good person. They might be a bad person. Oh, I get it. Yeah, because like, I was just like thinking about like you see that you see that homeless man with no teeth. He could be a good person. He could be a really good person. And that means you you think they're trash, and they might be good. <laughs> what did I try tripped? <laughs> that's all right. I meant to press the B yeah, button. That's what I meant by it. So. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. Yeah, I got you. Well, either way. Jonas. But I do see what you mean. It comes across as like there is no correlation to physical attractiveness and a good person slash personality. No. There is none whatsoever. I know some hot people that are great people, and I know some ugly people who can suck my right. Exactly. Finger. Sometimes ugly is a personality and a physical trait. Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes beauty is both. Exactly. It's just uh, yeah. It's no, but it's but I just yeah. I would always I would much rather have someone who was like average. In looks and had a great personality intelligence. Average in looks, man. That because <laughs> because the because and by average I just mean like you're not blown away, but you're not you're not blown away either way. You're like they're a cute person. They're not ugly. They're not super fu- fudge and attractive. I mean, it's like be, because if they have a great personality and all that stuff, I'm gonna be way more attracted to them. So you like basic chicks? Basic chicks? Yeah, basics. I'm fine with that. You fine with a basic? I'm fine chick? with a basic. For sure. Get off of me! If they got a good personality and stuff, they won't seem basic to me. And that's fine. Fair. Yeah. Like, it. it's like, yeah. I don't know. There's something about me knowing someone's a good person and ha- they have good traits and good tendencies and they're intelligent. That make, they're just so much more attractive to me. It's like, it's like that thing where, like, you meet someone and you're like, oh, they're cute. And then you get to know them and they're like, dang, they're, they're kind of hot. Like, you know what I mean? You ever have that happen? Like, like and the more you get to know someone, you're like, the more attracted to them you are. Like, you may not be blown away, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually a, a good personality will do that, but it won't necessarily be, like, looks based. Right. You might think, like, when you meet them, you're like, oh, they're a cute girl. But then you like hang out with them and talk to them and stuff as like a friend or whatever, and you're like, damn, they're kind of hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like wow. But on the same note, Jones, you don't want to go blurring lines. That's a very special case. Now I'm a firm believer in like whatever you establish a relationship as, that's what you should maintain it as until like like yes. you get some definitive signs and or a conversation takes place. I've had girls where like I establish a friendship relationship with them. Uh-huh. And then like I just maintained it as that because that is the way to handle things in 2019 well, and that's 2020. How it, and then that's how it was started. And then like the flirtation the flirtation in her uh tone of a uh, conversation kind of like started showing And then one day I was just like, if I didn't know any better, I think you were flirting with me. And she was like, maybe I am. And and now the boundary has changed. Now we have redirected course, you know? Right. And then, but it it, kind of sucks because it's like, whose hands does that fate lie in? And I have to say that just social norms, it's going to be the woman 90% of the time. Well, yeah. Well, and I think that's fair because I think as guys, we're responsible to, to, to... If we set a boundary ourselves, or if the woman has a boundary that is set, 
it is our job to follow that boundary, even if they're trying to push past it because they may be in a position where they're weak. You know what I mean? It's like, so even if like you have this boundary where friends and they try to come on to you or something, it's almost our responsibility to like check them and be like, you sure this is what you're looking to do? <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna say I'm checking. You always well, you say stuff in the most non-PC way. I hate it, dude. <laughs> you always say like something about we gotta check these chicks. And I'm like, yo fam, this is not 1990. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm not checking no, these like, tricks. No, but like, it's like you have to. It's like we're responsible for their boundaries too. Uh, no, we are not yeah, responsible are, for dude. their boundaries. <laughs> we are. Oh, you bit. mean responsible for not crossing their boundaries? Even if they're trying. But to they're cross. responsible for not crossing our boundaries too. Right. Exactly. If some girl just came up and just grabbed your junk, guess what? She just crossed the boundary. No, but I mean, if you already have, a, I'm talking. If you already have something set up. Like if, like, so that girl that you guys were friends. Yes. And, like, if she just all of a sudden, like, you guys were out hanging out as friends. There's been no, th this whole flirtatious thing never happened, right? Yeah. You're out drinking, and, like, she tries to, like, make a move on you or something. Oh, it's would you, you just Would you just be like, it's on then? Or would you be like, <laughs> yes, Jonas, I'm a slut. What are you <laughs> talking about? Fair. Fair. I'll be like, baby, I had a condom on before you said. <laughs> I was wearing one to do just in case. <laughs> yep. She would be like, she would just like pinch my butt and my pants would be off. <laughs> there. All right, I guess. Like no, dude, breakaways. Like, uh, but yeah, but it's, it's, but it's important to have those sort of things. And like, I mean, that's how relationships develop sometimes. It's like you start out and you're like, yeah. let's just hang out. And then like, and then that flirtatious thing happens. And you're like, oh, then you start being a little flirty. Then next thing you know, it just moves it naturally. I, yeah. I almost like relationships like that better because the organic natural progression of it is sometimes makes it a better thing. Word. Where, where if you just like meet and bang right away, then it's like, it's like based on that. I don't know. I agree wholeheartedly, Jonas. Yeah, man, it's like it's nice, man. Sometimes to have like a relationship based on like respect and like be liking each other as people, other than just like we're smashing. Yeah. Um. So you like like smart chicks or something? <laughs> I do like smart chicks, dude. Man, I guess that's kind of what you've been alluding to. This I guess my type is smart chicks. Good personalities. Like, I gotta be able to talk to you. You gotta be able to add to the conversation. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah. I would just suggest that you know you work on that because that's the that's the lasting thing. That's the lasting thing. Personality is everlasting. You're talking about people should work on it, or I yeah. should. Work on Everybody. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> not that I should work on liking other things. But no. That people in general what? should work on their personality and their what would intelligence. Why would I tell you that? Because intelligence is learned. Uh, yeah. People are innately smart, but you, it's how much you push yourself to learn. I don't really know how to, like, uh, not even on intelligence, but I don't really know how to, like, how do you, like, improve your personality? You gotta get rid of your, um... Do you have to, like, care about what people say? Uh, I think, think the way you improve your personality is by getting rid of preconceived notions you have about things. And it's, like, it's just... Yeah, because I mean, like, if you're like a very like non-agreeable person, you can be more agreeable. Uh. You can let things not bother you. You cannot be a snooty person. You cannot be bitchy. You cannot. You know what I mean? Like, there's you can't say the p word. <laughs> you can. You can. <laughs> you can now. Okay. <laughs> but I was talking about female dog. You, <laughs> like you got on me for a whole episode for talking. I usually yeah, no. Know. Um. So what I'm saying is like uh, I was actually watching this uh, one skit or something. Here, let this run because this is uh, the end of the game and you won. Yeah, so, so obviously. Like, watch I saw a skit that said that uh, relationships are built on healthy antagonism. Yes. I agree. So I feel like there's a certain degree of antagonism that goes into even a healthy relationship. Well, yeah, it's like it's like some of the best relationships I've been in, we had the most healthy banter. <coughs> but no, antagonism is when you're at odds with each other. It's antagonism oh, oh, and protagonism. Oh, oh, in that aspect. Yeah, I mean... And if it's not at a healthy level, that's when it's a problematic thing. It's like uh, we, we men and women are opposites, so we're never going to fully agree on a lot of things. And you're going to disagree with even the people you decide to keep close in your life. 
You just have to maintain a healthy antagonism, accepting of their differences, and they have to have a mutual acceptance of yours. And I feel like that is the basis, and learning the balance is the basis yeah. of a healthy relationship, even with another yeah, because platonic like A lot of people try to find the things they don't like in their partner and then change them. Yep. You need to find the things that you don't like in your partner and embrace them for them being Ooh, bars. Right, it's true. Because, like, yeah, like, if I, like, in the, that's the thing. It's like, when you get together with someone, you have to have commonality because that's what relationships are based on. Whether it's, whether it's, like, in, whether it's, like, a sexual thing, whether it's an interest thing, whether it's a whatever. You have to have commonality. No sex in, to your married kids. In places. But you're going to have differences, and that's what makes you you. You know what I mean? Like, I may like to go to art museums and paint and do whatever. And, like, my girlfriend can hate art. That's fine. But don't get on me because I like art. Word. You know what I mean? Like, you can like doing yoga. I can hate yoga. Go do all the effing yoga you want. Have yoga friends. Do yoga parties. I don't care. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you to stop doing yoga. Jonah speaking from the heart again. All right, kids, we beat we beat the freaking Super Bowl. Neither of those things have ever happened to me, by the way. It definitely happened. I guarantee you they have not. He definitely had somebody that told him to stop going to yoga. Yeah, but yes, I'm a yoga. Definitely happened. All right, well, that is all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Super Bowl champions. TNT Dynamite has won the Super Bowl. I did it, dude. With the, with the help of all the little... All the TNT nights. All the little Dynamite and X. <laughs> and the, the crazy townsfolk. The crazy town of maniacs. Yeah, dude. And the Jonah... The Jonas Jonah Heights. Heights. <laughs> Jonah Knights. The Jonah Knights. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right, everybody. Uh, please yeah. make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content or share it with your friends. Tell them to come check us out. We would very much appreciate that. Ooh. Uh, but for Jonas... And TNT Dynamite. We'll be back on the review episode. For now, we... Or, 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 or. Oh.